In this tutorial, we'll show you how to create glossary terms from business process diagram and textual analysis. In the demo, we'll be using business process visual architect. We have a business process diagram open here. It describes the process of ordering distilled water. Let's go up to the pool here and uh, the name customer may mean different things for different people. To make it clear, we want to make this a glossary term and create a standard definition for everyone. To do that, double click on it and then right click on the highlight, select add customer to glossary and then double click on the row, enter the definition here. Notice there's a red line here. That's because I've misspelled the word. So let me fix it here and that should go away. Because the text editor supports rich text format, we can make some text italic. So let's do that right now. Okay, and click on the I button here. And then do the same thing for this phrase and then click on the button again. Okay, let's move up to the top here, uh, to the alias section. And alias is simply another name that refers to the term customer. To create one, click on the add button. And uh, to some people, a customer is simply a buyer. So let's enter buyer here. And then click OK. Then we're done. So let's click the cross button here to close the box. And you can see the term here, uh, customer, with this alias buyer and uh, along with the definition. Let's create a label for it. So click on here and click on the plus sign. Click on the button here and type in human participant. And perhaps change the color to yellow and click OK. Click OK again and there we have a label tagged to the term customer and then basically labels are used to put terms into groups so when you have a longer list you can use a filter to narrow down the list later on okay now let's go back to the uh, diagram we can see that uh, customer the word is highlighted uh, everywhere across the diagram that is an indication that uh, the word is already a glossary term. To view its definition, just uh, on any occurrence, press the control key and then click. And then it should take you back to the definition in the grid. Apart from business process diagram, there's another place where we can create glossary terms. That is the textual analysis. And we're going to continue with our previous example with ordering distilled water. As you can see, you can see, um, see um, there are various occurrences of a customer in highlight. And that is because it's already been defined as a glossary term. Now let's say we want to add another one for ordering hotline. So to do that, just select the text. Right click on it select add ordering hotline to glossary and then double click on the entry enter the definition here Okay, and then just click the cross button here to close the box. And then we're done with the definition. Now let's go back to the textual analysis. Now that it uh, has been defined, we can see that it's also in highlight.
If you want, you can export the glossary to an Excel file. From the toolbar, select Export to Excel. Select the glossary grid, click on the Export button. Let's say I make a change in the Excel file. Change it to email, hit return, and then I save it. And just close it and go back to BP Visual Architect. And I can import uh, the Excel file again. Just click OK. And you see the changes that is imported into the PPVA.